Alright, wonderful. My cat distracted me, and I forgot to go to talk to Lockie. So... Let's try this again. Hopefully with no cat distractions this time. Gosh, it's getting hot underneath this blanket. I need to install an air vent. Oh yeah, right. I might as well use the running feature for this part. I know where I'm going, it's straight up. I hope I didn't press the button. Yeah, I definitely didn't press the button too quickly. So... Oh well, no wonder I wasn't opening the menu. I was jamming the Y button and the A button. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> Talk to you on the left. Jam the X button this time. I definitely don't want to try turning around in the middle of the conversation because that'll uh, mess throw me off entirely. So I've definitely gotta. Use the menu trick after uh, even those tiny little conversations there. Uh, I think I might not know what happened. I was I thought the music came back online during the cutscene with Vlock rather than the one with Kafka, so. I probably thought it was pretty much over at that point. Alright, get it out of the way, lock. Now I'm sure I'll show in the bloopers my explanation of what happened during my LLG, so I'm not gonna mention it again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's exit the room just to make sure of what I'm entering it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They couldn't have even made that a, like a nice even number, like ten. Had to be exactly eleven steps away. One, two. Alright, now hopefully Locke's actually there this time, and I'm not Edgar, and I'm trying to talk to a wall, because that would be really embarrassing. But there was no door opening sound as I went into that one door this time, so... Yeah, there we go. I might actually make it to the Magic Armor Battle this time. Yippee. Thankfully I don't need to talk to Kefka or his soldiers this time around, which makes this really easy.
Alright, any second now we should be calling the choke bows. There we go. So this time around during the Magitek Armor battle, I've got to go the opposite direction with my menu commands. Before I had to check downwards to check which menu I was in. And this time I'm checking to the right. Actually, I could have checked to the right last time, but... I've only got one choice this time. If I get lucky and Locke goes first, and I can be reasonably confident that he's going to end up being first on the second turn, then... I can select the fight command with him. But if that doesn't happen, I probably won't end up doing that. Hopefully that wasn't Locke, he'll take the most damage. Okay good, that was Locke. Steel's even more worthless in this battle than vanilla, so... Alright, this is Terra. Alright, so on this turn I'll tell Locke to fight. And now I can pretty much just hold day, I think, from here. Oh right, but I've gotta skip this cutscene because Terra burns something, so everyone's gotta freak out about something like magic, I mean. Magic were to come in real life, I'd be like, okay, whatever. No, I'm joking. never really got an opportunity to give Locke his second weapon. Actually, I got a perfect opportunity, I just completely forgot to do it, but that's besides the point. Minor details. Basically, I, I don't even really need to know which character is Terra, I'm just uh, attempting to multi-target each attack, with obviously a little bit less success if I'm Edgar or Locke at the moment. Yeah, and that was easy. <laughs> and now we have another cutscene. Ow, these headphones. Ow, stop it. There we go. Last time I, in the LLG I did a little bit of overkill waiting around for the end of this cutscene. Uh, but it's better overkill than underkill, so... So if I accidentally underkill it, then I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so hopefully I went far enough here. Probably did. Even if I didn't, it's not really a disaster. Still in items. Alright, success! <laughs> Talk to the soldier on the left. Hang on, my cursor's still on save? That's strange. Whatever, I'm not redoing it just because I was supposed to have it on item at the start. 
it really doesn't make a difference, especially not in this segment. Oh yeah, right, maybe you should actually start walking upwards. Okay, did I miss up talking to Kepka somehow? Yep, I pressed right somehow. Derp. Keep poking me. Stop it, kitty. <laughs> Alright, so wait a second for Locke to go to start walking. I don't want to jump the gun on that. It's not going to walk to the bottom. Now, here's where I messed up the LLG royally. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Notice how the door's open here? I, I, I didn't realize the door would be open, so I, I just assumed it. I forgot Locke opens it, so I was expecting a door noise, so I walked straight into the library. Hang on, what? There was a door noise this time. What happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, whoops. One, two, three. That's, where, that's not where I went to go. I didn't even go up all the way to ten. Yes, yeah, so you better not step on the safe state button or something. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, am I in the right place? I seem to be. I still have no idea why the door opened this time. It didn't last time. Alright, so I should be talking to Locke right now. It's a while before the music fades out here, which is a pain, because I'm a little bit worried I didn't do it right. Jasper, stop it. Okay, I'm starting to get worried now. Left, down. Okay, I can enter my menu, so I definitely didn't enter the cutscene with Locke. What should I do? One, two. Dang it, I'm gonna have to restart. Casper, go away. What happened? I'm still like, Gar. How's that? 